This week on Inside Boulder News, as Boulder responds to extraordinary floods, the city works to help residents and businesses make it through the emergency. We'll take a look at some of those efforts underway. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Mike Benuelos. Floods that hit the communities up and down the Front Range last week have left devastating impacts that are likely to be felt for some time. In Boulder County alone, lives were lost, hundreds of homes were destroyed, and thousands have been displaced. And public infrastructure, like roads, utilities, and parks, were damaged. The city of Boulder fared better than some of our neighbors, but we're still facing significant challenges. One of the greatest difficulties has been addressing the massive amount of inflow and blockages within the city's wastewater treatment system. Crews have been working 24-7 to clear debris, including rocks the size of baseballs, in an effort to stop sewage overflows. Yet, there are still homes and businesses that are experiencing sewage backups. Groundwater, floodwater, and even wastewater are backing up into some properties. Even if you don't see crews on your street, they're working on downstream issues to alleviate issues on your property. Contact the Public Works Call Center at 303-413-7100 to report public infrastructure issues, including sewer backups and other wastewater issues. City of Boulder's transportation infrastructure has sustained significant impacts due to flooding. The city is transitioning from emergency response to damage assessment and repair and is committed to restoring the entire transportation system for community use. The top pri priorities are to address urgent safety issues, repair the most heavily traveled streets and paths, and restore access to schools and stranded properties. Detours and alternate routes will be in place until the roads and paths are considered safe. Numerous pathways and underpasses, such as this one, are now filled with flood water and debris, but successfully conveyed flood waters through Boulder and away from private property. Additional information about road closures and infrastructure impacts are available at boulderfloodinfo.net. Web updates are being posted daily, so check back often. City employees aren't the only ones hard at work to respond to damages caused by the flood. In homes and businesses across Boulder, people are pulling out wet and in some cases unsanitary carpets, damaged drywall, soaked furniture, and other household items. Figuring out where to put that trash has been an issue. Given the volume of debris and the limited number of dumpsters, City Council has recommended that we move to curbside collection service. We are currently working through the details of what curbside collection service will look like. So more information will be available soon on that. As a reminder, the following materials cannot be included in disposal at the landfill. Electronics, such as TVs and computers. Hazardous waste, such as motor oil and paint. Appliances containing Freon, such as refrigerators and AC units. And other equipment containing gasoline, like lawnmowers. The City Center for Hard to Recycle Materials and Western Disposals Transfer Station are both open and taking many of these materials. You can contact them for hours of operation. The decision to transition to special curbside pickups is a huge commitment on the city's part and it's unclear how much will be reimbursed by federal dollars. But council members said they felt the response was necessary given the widespread community need. Up-to-date information about the pickups will be posted on boulderfloodinfo.net as it becomes available. Navigating the steps necessary to respond to a flood can be daunting. That's why the city and county have joined forces with state and federal officials, as well as nonprofit and community partners, to open a disaster assistance center. The Boulder Disaster Assistance Center is a joint effort between the city of Boulder and Boulder County to provide really one stop shop for our residents and businesses who have been impacted by the flood event. We're really hoping that people will come out, let us know what their needs are so that we can help them. That's what we're here to do. Uh, we're here to provide hope for the future, to be of assistance to as many as we can at this time. And we know from our Longmont Disaster Assistance Center that the need has been tremendous there. Over 250 families came to see us there. So we're expecting the numbers here in Boulder to also be large and to continue to, to grow. We try to keep the uh, process as simple as possible for disaster survivors getting federal assistance. And for many people that means money from both FEMA 
and loans from the SBA. The way every disaster starts this process is getting in touch with us. We keep it simple. Call 1-800-621-FEMA or go to our website, fema.gov and click on the button that says Disaster Assistance. A similar center has been opened in Longmont. City of Boulder residents and business owners can receive services at either location. The Boulder community is strong in part because of its spirit of collaboration and community. This week, more than 35 downtown businesses launched what they're calling a Yes, We Are Open and Ready to Help campaign. From the middle of this week through Sunday, September 22nd, participating businesses are donating 10% of their sales to the Foothills Flood Relief Fund. This is a joint partnership between the Community Foundation of Boulder County and the Foothills United Way Chapter. In addition, Downtown Boulder Inc. has pledged to match the total raised through this effort of up to $10,000. Thanks for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click subscribe.